What up, YouTube? Mini Hops here. Happy Fourth of July. Merka. Okay. So this video is going to be a little bit serious, but like, it's not a negative video, guys. Um, so like, for those of you who have been with me, you know this whole story that's been going on over the last year. I know a lot. I've been touching on a lot of like my drug and alcohol. Instead of just doing drugs and alcohol, I've been touching on like how I rose above it. And I was talking to a subscriber today and they were like, I think that's like a big reason of why people watch you. Maybe they're not so out about it, but like you're not judgy about it and you're like understandable. So this isn't a sad story, but a lot of sad stuff like in company and this is like real life. So I have a video that I made a year ago from today. Me last 4th of July. For those of you who have been with me, it's after Heavy Metal Band Camp, which is the guy I lost my virginity to. Came all the way from Chicago during COVID. Uh, I've already visited him. And we got into it. And I kicked his ass out. And I was like screaming and crying as a zero because he got all like weird and psycho. And I was not going to have a dude tell me what to do in my house. So the next day, I hung out with one of my really good friends, Hart. Let me explain for a second. I also call him JJ Squatter Tales and Pirate Guy. If you watch my old videos, this all is a very incestuous story. If you guys like the tea, if you guys like a good soap opera, watch this. So my best friend since seventh grade was a guy named Bo. I didn't show him in a lot of videos because um, I didn't want to get him in trouble. <laughs> uh, Pirate Guy wanted to show himself. So, me and Joe got in a fight, and Pirate Guy had OD'd the night before, got jumped back to life, and got robbed. <laughs> we met up <laughs> on 4th of July, and was it a good time? It was too good of a time. Um, it was probably the most fucked up I've ever been in my life, which says a lot. Like, I was literally walking, and my, like, legs collapsed. Like, it not for me, like, I don't know, like, this dude is like, I thought you were having a seizure. Maybe I almost was. And then I stood right back up, and it happened. I still have a scar to this day on my leg. Um, from the 4th of July, and things were never the same after that. So after I left, okay, so let me sum this up. <laughs> I'm going to try to simplify it. Me, we'll just call him Pirate Guy, who you'll see in the video, because I'm going to put the link in the description box below for me a year ago today, what a mess I was. And my buddy Bo were all best friends for like 20 years. When I left, Pirate Guy and Bo were hanging out. Long story short, Bo passed away. Also, Bo's stepbrother, Breakfast Guy, he's an ongoing theme in my video. His big stepbrother um, is kind of like my boyfriend, off and on. Like, he's like, we have that relationship and we care about each other, but realistically, like, we don't live together. And we live states apart, and there's a lot going on, but we all love each other. Facts. Okay, so when I moved away, Bo and um, Pirate Guy were hanging out, and Bo deed. He got drunk and did some stupid shit. And I kind of feel like, and everybody kind of feels like, Pirate Guy let him fall to the side. What nobody's feeling to realize now until he's out of the equation is like, Pirate Guy was so suicidal and so lonely and so fucked up and had nobody to help him. Like, he was down the rabbit hole. I see that now. Now that I'm over getting angry, like, I'm still angry. <laughs> I'm never going to be completely over it. Um, But if it weren't for Pirate Guy, I would have never moved here. He said, Mandy, get out of here. There's nothing for you here. <clears throat> All there is is drugs and these fucking losers. They've never left St. Louis their whole life. Get the fuck out of here. Don't let COVID stop you. And honestly, about every single person, the guy you're going to see in that video inspired me to be here today. And I do love him. And I just feel like we all were idiots that had been, like, partying so hard for, like, 20 years. Like, every day of our life. Here's what's even weirder. The dynamics. So... Bo's big brother breakfast guy and pirate guy worked together. So, of course, they were doing a lot of mess together. 
uh, pirate guy went to prison. So did, <laughs> so did breakfast guy. But while pirate guy was in there, breakfast guy effed his old lady of 10 years. Are you following me? If not, go back or rewind 12 months from now. Follow me. You'll see everything leads up to this day. To now, even. If you saw what a fucked up drug addict I was a year ago versus now, do I still drink? Yeah. Like, I have come so far in here. And that's another reason, like, not only is it, like, do I put it out for you guys? Because, like, dude, some of my favorite prison channels, um, like, shout out to Jay Williams, Let's Live Life. Uh, that's one of my favorite channels. Like, he tells you all the dirt he did in his channel. And if you guys haven't heard about his channel, you late. But he talks about, like, how he's better from it and what he did differently and how he saw things then versus now. And I feel like I was lucky enough to escape prison, but I do the same thing. And uh, that's why I think we're fans of each other's channel. We subscribe to each other's channel. But not just his channel, like, so many people. And... It's not me, for me to, like, dwell on it. It's for me to just show you what a difference a year makes. I got myself out of there. I've had more people die in the seven months I've been gone than I've ever known in my life. So that says something. And to come out in Vegas and, like, make it, like, you have to be touched. And um, it's been such a part of my life. Like, this whole ring between me, breakfast guy, Bo, and pirate guy, aka JJ Squatter Tails, aka Heart, whatever. Um, the only person I really didn't make a nickname for was Bo, but you don't know anything other than Bo. <laughs> you know, you don't know his name, you don't know his brother's name, you don't know our best friend's name because I wouldn't put Bo on there because Bo was a dad and he was a great dad. Um, that just happened to unfortunately pass away, and I do um, I have trouble dealing with it every day, but. So now, a year later, the three of us, the three amigos, I'm here getting sober, and um, one's in prison and one's dead. I'm lucky I made it, right? So, my whole point is, guys, uh, you know, the reason I have my channel is I can look back on how I was fucking up and how I'm doing good, so it's good. And it's 4th of July, and I'm good, and I'm glad you guys are good, and this is actually like a happy story. It's not a sad story at all. I mean, yes, the things that are happening to my friends, but I hope that my friend Hart, pirate guy, whatever, is getting the help he needs. Um, and I hope you guys can see how like things can be changed and you don't have to have a big intervention, you know, but losing a couple of your best friends will do it to you. Um, but no, I made myself move out here and I changed my ways and every day there's a risk like that you could F up, but I've been doing really good for eight months now and, um, uh, I got a new job and I just hope that, um, my friend can recover from this because I feel like when he gets a little more sane, cause he's been so whacked out of it for so long, like it's going to hit him hard. He's going to feel terrible. He's going to feel as terrible as we felt, we feel, every day, you know? Uh, so, I know, like, 4th of July is, like, one of those holidays where <laughs> you want to be like, hold my beer, watch this! Every day of our life is like that, <laughs> honestly. So, just be careful, the decisions you make, and just think about it, and have fun, and don't burn your house down, or poke your eye out with firecracker. I know that this is a good message. Um, I'm still totally in contact with, you know, uh, my best friend's like mother and some old friends of his and his stepbrother, obviously. <laughs> but um, we all have something to learn from this and just learn from it. And look where it was a year ago versus today. Like, if I can do it, you can do it. Have a great 4th of July. Be safe. Love you guys. Bye. Not trying to be a Debbie Downer. Not. That's not the point of this video. It's good. I'm showing my progress. <laughs> Nobody called me a Debbie Downer when I was, like, drinking and downing shots and, like, you know, messed out passing out on myself. So don't call me a Debbie Downer now <laughs> for showing my progress. Okay, guys? Love you. Bye.